welcome you're watching Had to Had. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. China remains an important strategic partner of Ukraine, and mutual trade is constantly growing. Recently, within the framework of the World Economic Forum in Davos, President of Ukraine Petro Poroshenko and Vice President of the People's Republic of China, Van Cixiang, agreed to continue the development of bilateral trade economic and investment cooperation between the countries. The parties also discussed Ukraine's participation in China's initiative called One Belt, One Road. To talk more about this, we welcome in our studio today Igor Litvin. He's a deputy head of the Ukrainian part of Joint Ukrainian Chinese Business Council and a former ambassador of Ukraine to the People's Republic of China. Hello and thank you for coming. So, it's not a secret that uh, China is a giant manufacturer of basically anything in the world, and a lot of countries are already in trade partnership with it, and other countries who are not in trade partnership with China wish to be in trade partnership with China. What is the framework of the trade relationship between China and Ukraine at this moment? Thank you. Um, you, you know, it is quite an interesting question because uh, we still uh, hoping very much that uh, the um, constant content of our mutual trade will be more and more improving with the years to come. Why I'm saying this? Because uh, we do have um, quite a history of uh, turnover between Ukraine and China, starting from 270 million USD in uh, 1993. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we have uh, about uh, 9 billion USD of our turnover. That's right now, from year 2018. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the leaders of two countries, they agreed uh, that um, the level of our turnover supposed to be 10 million yearly. And it was like this in uh, 19, uh, uh, to, to 2013. Now we've got uh, a, a little bit uh, uh, less uh, uh, volumes that uh, it was planned to have. But uh, with the years to come, say next year, both governments, both states, they are hoping to have this 10 million uh, volume to be reached and um, the prospects of our um, mutual trade is going to be uh, reaching the level of uh, 20, million, 20 billion USD, uh, say by uh, uh, 2025, something like that. That's a very promising forecast. Uh, for now, what are the main areas that Ukraine and China cooperate the most in? Um, unfortunately, um, we have uh, the trade deficit mm -hmm. uh, between uh, Ukraine and uh, China trade, because uh, the deficit is about uh, uh, five uh, to six uh, billion USD, because we are um, selling uh, for about uh, the, the products in, uh, uh, for about uh, uh, three and a half billion. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are buying uh, Chinese products, Chinese uh, services for the volume of uh, six with something. And uh, the if we're talking about areas of mutual interest in trade uh, and economic cooperation, first of all, this is uh, uh, agriculture, mm -hmm. this is uh, uh, aviation, mm -hmm. this is uh, power sector. Uh, I think uh, these are the main uh, uh, spheres of interest for both of Ukraine and China in mutual trade. Okay, but uh, what about the other goods? How well are they represented on Chinese markets? Have we taken enough care of um, um, organizing proper advertisement for our products? You know, uh, to trade with China, it is not an easy thing. I know that. Uh, I can imagine. Yes. And we're trying, uh, uh, saying we, I mean uh, the Ministry for uh, Economy, I mean uh, uh, our trade uh, department in the embassy, mm -hmm. I mean uh, uh, 
uh, Ukrainian Chamber of Commerce and Trade. I mean uh, our uh, joint Ukrainian uh, Chinese Business Council. Uh, we are trying to facilitate our business circles to go forward to the Chinese market, mm -hmm. to be successful over there. Uh, for this, we need to, to overcome some uh, natural obstacles like uh, regulations, certification, accreditation of our products over there. Because uh, um, uh, now we've got, say, in the sphere of agricultural products which we are exporting to China, uh, several uh, products which are allowed officially to go to enter Chinese market. This is feed corn, this is barley, this is uh, uh, soya bean, this is uh, milk products, this is uh, um, sunflower oil, sunflower meal. But we don't have uh, uh, still our wheat, our wheat flour mm -hmm. allowed to go to the Chinese market directly. And uh, uh, this is, uh, it is not actually the problem. This is just the matter of regulations. Both sides have to do uh, simultaneously in, in, in the same uh, speed, in the same direction. That is why everybody concerned, they are trying to facilitate all the sides to go in this uh, uh, one direction. Uh, and that is why uh, we are step by step having more and more Ukrainian products going to the uh, Chinese market officially uh, through the uh, procedure of uh, certification, accreditation. Then uh, when you have uh, all these uh, uh, things uh, done and your product is uh, being certificated over there mm -hmm. and you accredit it over there, then you have to uh, find proper partners, importers. Uh, dealers, distributors, etc., etc., etc. For this, this is actually uh, also a very, very complicated and very long time uh, uh, process, but we're doing this. Mm -hmm. And um, successful um, uh, companies uh, who already entered the Chinese market, they are offering unique products like sunflower oil. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, um, the system of uh, uh, providing supplies to the uh, Chinese market uh, being regulated by the government, by the state, is like this. They find, they uh, just point out uh, the best countries producing the best products in this and this field. Okay. So meat, they are taking, uh, uh, importing from uh, Brazil and Argentina. Mm -hmm. uh, spices from somewhere else. Brazil. And from Ukraine, India. the main product they are importing from our country is sunflower oil. Mm -hmm. So, uh, some uh, uh, Chinese state companies, they are prescribed to go to Ukraine to find suppliers, to find producers, uh, and by, uh, I mean, uh, to a certain extent of uh, uh, this product, according to the quotas, because they do have quotas, like uh, feed corn. Chinese government, uh, one of the structure, this is the National Commission for Reforms and Development, they set the quotas for uh, feed corn, non-GMO feed corn, first of all. Do the quotas depend on the country, on the product? Or on the product, on the product. mostly. Okay. All right. It is not uh, something like the, related to the country. Mm -hmm. Uh, why we are now uh, very popular in China with our um, feed corn, non-GMO uh, grains, etc. Because uh, uh, the um, uh, high, highest uh, power, I mean the chairman of uh, the China, Mr. Xi Jinping, he declared that Chinese population, Chinese nation should uh, uh, um, eat uh, green products, healthy products, so, the whole society is supposed to be treated with the best products ever. Mm -hmm. That is why they refused some, some years ago to uh, import mostly American feed corn. And they were trying to look uh, uh, all over the world where is the best feed corn uh, uh, existing. So, and apparently that is Ukraine. Yes, exactly. That is really good. In April 2019, China is going to uh, host for the second time in a row already uh, such an initiative called One Belt, One Road, and mm. Ukraine is going to be participating. Now, what is this initiative, what is this event, and why is it so important for the cooperation between Ukraine and China in future? Um, 
a few days ago, I published my article uh, in uh, the uh, um, uh, politi pol Politics and uh, uh, Culture magazine uh, with regard to the problems around uh, our participation, uh, uh, Ukraine's participation in this initiative, mm -hmm. One Belt, One Road. What I meant, what I mean now, uh, it is something that we really need because we are a transit country and it is very important for Ukraine to have this uh, uh, very, very uh, prosperous and uh, uh, useful uh, way of uh, delivering goods from uh, back and forth going exactly through the territory of Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine is also being uh, needed by the uh, initiators of the One Belt, One Road mm -hmm. because of uh, these uh, uh, features of our country and uh, because of the facilities we can offer uh, uh, with regard to the One Belt because mm -hmm. one road we have. Mm -hmm. uh, around this road, uh, all the countries participating in this initiative, they are supposed to build some infrastructure mm -hmm. with regard to their possibilities, their needs, their facilities, and the needs of the whole uh, uh, project. Mm -hmm. By now, uh, we are not in the first row of uh, the countries uh, uh, joining the One Belt, One Road uh, initiative because um, since um, nine, uh, two, 2013 when uh, this initiative of uh, Chairman Xi Jinping was uh, uh, declared, uh, 120 countries already joined this initiative, mm -hmm. but not Ukraine. We just, uh, in December of uh, 2017, within the frame of uh, third uh, meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission on Cooperation between Ukraine and China, uh, adopted, approved the document which is, uh, can be called uh, uh, roadmap mm -hmm. of uh, Ukraine, Ukraine and China to uh, uh, get Ukraine uh, uh, joining uh, the One Belt, One Road initiative. Uh, there are uh, several factors uh, which we have to take into consideration while uh, implementing all this uh, roadmap. First of all, this is something that uh, we uh, have to offer to our society and to our government. This is industrialization. Right. We have to improve in industry, we have to improve in so many uh, other fields of the national economy to be an uh, uh, important player of this initiative. Without this, there will be just uh, something, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which we cannot call... But uh, are we taking actions on the way to reach the goal that you've just said? Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I think so, because uh, <laughs> this is something uh, that uh, uh, depends uh, uh, absolutely 100% on the moves of the government. Mm -hmm. They have to improve all this infrastructure uh, in industry, in agriculture, etc., 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 to get uh, Ukraine uh, uh, up to the uh, standards which are being already prescribed and set by this initiative One Belt, One Road. Well, hopefully, the Ukrainian government is going to take close action to reach the goal that has been They're set. They're taken. Great. So we're just, uh, you know, uh, waiting for the results okay. and facilitating, uh, you know, by any means uh, to get this result. Well, then, thank you for the job that you're doing and thank you for coming and telling us all about thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Igor Litvin, uh, the deputy head of the Ukrainian part of Joint Ukrainian Chinese Business Council and former ambassador of Ukraine to the People's Republic of China. Thank you.